So today I want to show you a little bit more about the power of groups and a neat little trick I found. I've added a monster to the stage and that's all the code I've got in there so far. Just adding the monster up at the top left hand corner. If I want to place that monster randomly on the stage, this is how I normally did it. I'm going to grab my random number snippet from WilliamClarkson.net phaser snippets. And I would normally define an X and a Y position that needs to be above the monster. By grabbing random numbers between 0 and the game width and the game height. And then assigning those to the monster. And totally valid code. And you can do it that way. And that's how I've done it in a lot of languages, including Flash. There he is. But looking over some sample code the other day, I found a neat little trick in Phaser. I'm going to take out that code I just added. I'm going to say game world random x. And game world random y. Isn't that cool? Just one line of code to be able to place that anywhere on the stage. Now, how does this relate to groups? Well, let's create 10 monsters. For a equals 0, a is less than 10, a plus plus. Now, because I have monster on a local variable, I can't change anything about that monster afterwards except for the last monster that was defined. But if I create a group, this monster group equals game add group. And then I add that monster every time I create it to the group. Then in the update function, I can run a for each. Now run that on the group for each. And then we put it in an anonymous function. An anonymous function means it's just a function without a name. So function, and then in parentheses for the parameter, I'll use item. And this will loop through the group and assign item to whatever monster it is on at the time. So it'll go through each of them and apply each individual child of the group to item. And I'm going to use a bind this to keep the scope. So if I say this inside, it'll refer to this state. And item y plus plus. Isn't that cool? Different result every time. Just a few lines of code. The power of phaser groups. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.